Hi everybody, my name is Doug Wilson. This is Yellow Hawk Customs Outdoors. And you ever think back to your childhood, your teenage days? Sorry about the tractor. Zach always has to do something while I'm um, recording, right? Um, think back to your childhood or, or teenage years and, and you come up with a few images of items that you wanted back then you really would like like to have had one but it never came to be right well I got a really special knife knife to show you guys that uh, I, I've always wanted but could never quite get my hands on one and my buddy Bob came through you guys stick around and I'm gonna show it to you it's a really unique piece of work This is one of my favorite fire starters. This is white birch bark. And I know what you're saying. Well, white birch doesn't grow in my area. It is very easy to get several pieces of this bark. Hell, even uh, Home Depot sells it a lot. In, uh, you know, for, for backyard fires, that's where I get mine because it doesn't grow in my area either. White birch is one of those, uh, especially the bark, it has a lot of betulum oil in it. That's why it burns black. So it's like kind of like throwing sparks on gasoline. You know, so good stuff. Really, really impressive stuff. Um, and it's one of my favorite fire starters. Then you take another piece, you know, you scrape it up like this, right? Just scrape up the top layer into a into a dust right get a little pile of it it doesn't take much and take some small strips of it another piece right set it aside grab out you know take out your ferro rod okay right and this is one of our flip out ferro rods just flip it out Strike it. Right? Put your pieces on. That stuff burns like gangbusters. <laughs> See the black smoke? That's that betulum oil. And it burns hot. You could put hardwood tinder on that and it'll it'll start it. Booyah, Batman. Booyah.
like to introduce you guys to a knife that I remember the most growing up okay um, here's the knife this knife was designed by a man called Tapio Wirkala he was a Finnish industrial designer that worked in <clears throat> all types of mediums glass wood metal um, but what I know him most for is designing this knife right here As a matter of fact this knife is in uh, the Finnish Museum of Industrial Art um, as touted as one of the finest uh, Finnish produced knives or Finnish designed knives ever, right? So it's just basic Sandvik stainless steel. Um, Sandvik type. Uh, I don't even know if they had Sandvik back then. This knife was made back in the 80s. Okay. Now, I never owned one, but my buddy Bob the Grizz and uh, my scoutmaster, Randy, growing up, they had one. They had these knives. They, uh, Randy had one, Bob had one. And I always admired the knife. Now, back then, they weren't that expensive. Maybe 50, 60 bucks. Now, if you can find one in good shape with a sheath, 300, 400 bucks. Okay? Um, they're, they're really sought after in good shape. Now, Bob managed to be able to get this one for me for my birthday in March. Okay? And he paid a pretty penny for it. Um... It did not come with a sheath. I'm gonna either make one or I'm gonna find one that's traditional to this knife, all right? It's a beautifully designed knife. Now, as far as Kydex is concerned, the design sucks for Kydex. That's not why I want it. I want this because it's a special knife to me. Now you get a bunch of that stuff, that's your fire starter right there. <laughs> 